Hi Pisces, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is the weekly general tarotscope for your sign. Uh, as always, the housekeeping is down below. How to book a personal read, the deck that I'm using. It's Golden Girls, by the way. Um, and also how to find different aspects of your astrological natal chart because sometimes we resonate more with say our moon sign or our rising sign or our venus rather than just the sun sign that we always um, traditionally know so sometimes it's worth having a look at your natal chart and seeing if sometimes um, you resonate more with a different sign for example my rising sign is scorpio so often the scorpio reads when i watch them and peruse them resonate more with me than my sun sign of cancer so um, sometimes it's worth having a look and seeing if there's a message for you in those other signs especially um, where those signs resonate so if it's if it's where your venus is go and have a look at those venus relation well say for example mine is taurus go and have a look at the taurus romance reads when when you're looking at readings whether that's with me or other people it doesn't matter sometimes the message is in that aspect of our birth chart anyway let's get on with your readings i've waffled on long enough let's see what we've got for pisces for this week coming in for us and you have the three of pentacles and i love that the three girls are here in this three of pentacles because the three of pentacles is all about our foundation of our um, material this 3d world as our material it's our foundations it's how we connect with ourselves what strength have we got within ourselves how do we connect with other people who do we even house ourselves with so it's our family our people around us it's your home itself it's looking at all the core fundamentals in your life and ensuring that we are maintaining those relationships for example they're making the cheesecake that they're inevitably going to need in the future when they hit hardship along this long journey of life um, and they need to sit there together and support each other emotionally while they eat cheesecake as the medium of connection in that situation so it's about prepping, making sure you have the cheesecake in place so that the support in place, the emotional support in place so that we have that in times when we are going through frugality or hardship, we have that support, whether that's our friends. Um, and the theme tune is literally playing in my head right now. It's about celebrating our friendships and our connections that are healthy and support us. And I have, thank you for being a friend, going through my head. Sorry, that's my cat being a complete annoying thing um but yes it's about looking at those connections those people that we have in our life making sure they're healthy making sure we're maintaining them they are going to carry us through those hardships those times where we feel really alone they're going to be the ones that turn up and support us and make sure that they're going to turn up with a cheesecake and go you're not okay come on let's have a cheesecake and a cup of coffee and we're going to set the world to rights so it's about looking at those friendships ensuring that you are contributing um, equally to them as much as you're receiving and making sure that also um, if if there is a relationship where that isn't happening do we do an adjustment do we make sure that we are connecting with that friend putting in a little bit more time in order to get that 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 energy flowing between us again or is it maybe that you're putting too much into it they're not meeting your energy and as you withdraw your energy that you realize that's not your person this is about looking at who your people are when when the proverbial poop hits the fan who's there who's going to be there when that happens um, and they're your people they will give you a roof over your head when you 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 your relationship ends or somebody dies they're there with you, for you with food and support and just to sit with you while you cry and grieve very much what these girls did for each other when they moved into that house it's very much the fundamentals of what your relationships are and what they are based on um, and celebrating and recognizing and honoring that connection that you have with them so this week it's all about looking at your relationships whether it's friends family colleagues whatever that is your home connection with your home have you been providing enough maintenance in your home have you made sure that those cracks are filled in and the the the, the structure is sound that the foundations are, are sound for the house that protects you when literal storms hit so it's about making sure that everything that matters to you that you need in your core including yourself is maintained is nourished is provided energetically for um that there is this mutual give and take exchange um even for the planet that we live on are you putting back into the planet that she provides support for you are you putting back what is your energy exchange with the earth so it's about looking at all these foundational relationships that you have with things or people um around you and, and working and maintaining on those and making sure that they're strong and future proofed i hope that is of some use to you um hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now